phone lines jammed. Everything on the wow. table, mostly football. So, but Don said, Don said he said something that previously that he was beat up for, uh, yeah. lambasted, lambasted. Yeah, because if you, if, if you remember the end of Eli, great movie. The feeling around me was that I was an Eli Manning apologist, and we had people like you and people like Andrew Gunling that were in callers. Eli's done. Eli stinks. This is awful. And to a certain extent, they were right because he was not the quarterback that he was. He did not age well. He didn't. He, he's not Aaron Rodgers. He's not Tom Brady, or even even Roethlisberger for that matter. Can you imagine what would be happening to Eli if he was the quarterback of this team? As a pocket quarterback with no offensive line? Well, that's kind of what Eli was at the end. Like, the caller reminded me of it. They haven't had a good offensive line for years. At least Jones has some legs. He can make some things happen. A pocket quarterback would be killed with this offensive line. So... I understand, and Dan Orlovsky is going to come on at, at, at 5.15. He's going to tell us that only four of those sacks were on the offensive line, and he, uh, Jones has got to do this better. Jones has got to do that better. But I only think there's so much quarterbacks can do when the offensive line is completely demolished. Does that excuse the pick six? No, it doesn't. Does that excuse every single sack? No, because I'm sure there's some sacks that other quarterbacks would have found a way to get rid of the ball. But, Peter, can you be productive? That's what I want to ask Dan. All right, maybe Jones took a sack he shouldn't have, but was there a play to be made? Could he have thrown it away? Would it have been an incompletion, a, a, a gain of, of negative yardage because he got the completion, he got the ball off, but it couldn't get it past the line of scrimmage? I don't know how you can be productive, Peter, when the offensive line has been as bad as it's been for the Giants. Even the Jets' offensive line, I think, has been good enough that you can make some plays with Wilson. This Giants offensive line, especially with Thomas out, it's been a sieve. To, I, I don't hate this take by you because you're right. It would be it would be brutal. Can you imagine? Yeah, a pocket. Cool. He'd be uh, he'd be dead. Now maybe as you as Dan will explain and as he explained uh, on television earlier, it seems like Jones is making some decisions where he's not making it much better for himself, but at least he has some bit of elusiveness. There was one in particular, Don the the the. Sack fumble for Daniel on Monday night. Where, where if you do you watch the video of what Orlovsky said about mm -hmm. that play? Yeah, where it's like he should have seen that there was an unchecked right. man and yes. he should have known he was. That was an interesting one to see. And again, most of us, Don, if you don't have incredible foot, football expertise, we all have a gauge of like, oh well, the quarterback had no time. By the way, did you see Michael on TV there? You can't see him, can you? No, I've got the game. They move, the, move. Can, the you, most, can you try to move so you can see him? You know what I think the most interesting thing on television is? Is the one that's always behind the light that I can't see. Oh, you know, you missed it. I wanted when, to see. When, 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 they, when they announce, <coughs> when the news breaks in and they announce the cure for cancer, it's going to be behind the TV with the light. I'm not going to see it. Our right, Greek just sent this to me. I want to put my fist through the TV. Oh. NJ.com. Daryl um, Sattler is the author of the article. Okay. The Giants had just delivered another sluggish first half Monday night against the Seahawks, so fans at MetLife Stadium showered them with booze before the players headed to the locker room. Right tackle Evan Neal looked up towards the stands, raised his arms, and gestured sarcastically. He said he did not flip off fans, but he did yell a clear message to them. They are booing us, so I said, boo louder. Neal told NJ Advance Media on Wednesday. The Giants 1-3 and three entered Sunday's challenging game against my blah, 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 blah. So I'm trying to get to the quote here. Why would a Lion consider himself, concern himself with the option of, oh, I'm sorry. I, 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 why would a Lion concern himself with the opinion of a sheep, he added. The person that's condemning, uh, commenting on my performance what does he do? Flip hot dogs and hamburgers somewhere? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I'd cut his ass. I would. How dare you? How dare you? These people pay your salary. They pay an obnoxious amount of money to park, an obnoxious amount of money for PSLs to sit there and watch this pap, and you call them hamburger flippers? What, you're so much better? I'd rather have a guy that's flipping hamburgers block than your piece of garbage ass. 
Who the hell are you to talk to fans like that? You piece of garbage. I hate when players do that. You're not above us. What, because you happen to play a sport? You make them, you're better than me. You're better than the people that pay your salary. These giant fans were here before you, and they'll be here after your sorry ass is cut. What a piece of human trash. And I don't want to hear some apology. I don't want to hear, oh, I was taken out of contact. I didn't mean, I don't want to hear, done, done. I would cut his fat ass. <laughs> Oh, if I'm John Mara, I call him into the office and no, say, I would. you were a first-round pick, but you're not worth anything. You don't talk to our fans that way. You don't talk to me that way. You are out of a job. I, I, Don, You should you. boo him. If you see him in the mall of Willowbrook, boo his ass. If you see him on the DMV, boo him. Don't stop booing him. If he goes to the Pro Bowl, boo him. If he wins a Super Bowl, Boo his sorry ass. Screw that guy. Oh, I mean, that, that angers me. We're not nobody. Flipping, but how are you taught? How do you condescend to people that pay to watch you play? Poorly, I might add. Really bad. Oh, you this... Oh, uh, <sighs> I, the, I, I, I hate players like that. I thought you. Despise I thought it was going to end. I was going to say, if, if the whole thing was he just said boo louder, I was going to be like, oh, so he's saying like we deserve it. Like, no, keep the boos coming. I, that's where I thought you were going. Flipping hot dogs. Think about how wrong I was. I thought he was going to say, no, keep booing. We deserve to be booed. I, there are people in the stands that are doctors. They cure diseases. They're giant fans, too. There are people that are architects. They build bridges and buildings. You block poorly. Don't ever talk to anybody like that again. Uh, seriously, I don't care. First round pick, how much money hit to, the, hit to the cap. That would really show me something. Cut. And I know he'll get picked up. It'll play someplace else. One day, you're not going to play football anymore. And if there's a God up above, it'll be soon. And I hope you're flipping burgers. <laughs> and when I buy that burger from you, I'll spit in it. Oh, I was say you, I thought you'd boo. <laughs> Throw it right back in your face. All right, here we go. Uh, let me give you a little bit more from this. I'd um, rather you not. Uh, Neil also insisted, I know I'm improving. Even if people who know less about football, as he described them, believe otherwise, he added, quote, I'm going to continue to get better. Why did he yell at fans to boo louder? Quote, because that just further shows that people are fair weather. A lot of fans are bandwagoners. I mean, I get it. They want to see us perform well, and I respect all of that. But no one wants us to perform well more than we do. And how can you say you're really a fan when we're out there battling our asses off and the game wasn't going well? But the best you can do is boo your home team. So how much of a fan are you really? Here's the thing, Evan. They don't believe you're battling your ass off. They think it's a weak effort. This Don, this isn't the same as baseball. This isn't booing Giancarlo Stanton because he's not making contact. This is an Fair. effort sport, and no one's impressed Fair. by the effort. Fair weather? Giant fans are fair weather? The last time they played a home game, you lost 40 to nothing. That place was still packed. They were still cheering. They were still into the game at 14 to 3. They were. They booed you at halftime because you didn't score a touchdown for the fourth consecutive game in the first half. At that moment, you guys were down. Just, just fair weather. At that moment when they booed you at halftime, you guys in 2023 in MetLife Stadium were down 54 to three. Fair weather. 54 to three. Fair weather. Fair weather. Fair weather. You're the. Are you nuts? Fair the weather. You're the one who just called the fans hamburger flippers because you didn't like the way they cheered you. Wow, it's and you're a turnstile. It's it's it, 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 it's insulting to not. All right, it, Evan, it's Evan, one Evan, thing Evan, to oh insult boy. us to say our opinion doesn't matter, but flipping burgers and hot dogs. I got news for you: people that flip burgers and hot dogs can't afford the PSLs and the 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 money it costs to park and all that, and they still find a way to go in to see the team because they love the team.
and they care about the team, and they've been with this team forever. Evan, I, I'm t- I, honestly, Evan, I, Evan, you blocked your own teammate on Monday. God, it just you blocked your own teammate. It just I don't get these players. I don't. I don't understand. What do they expect us to do? Cheer you as you come off the field? But also, like, what is this college? But also, why are you taking it personally? You signed up for a... Listen, you work very hard. No one thinks that you made it there by accident, okay? Everybody knows that pro ball players work their tail off to get there. We all know that. But you also get paid an exorbitant amount of money for a reason. And it's funny because the main culprits, the people who the, the, the players seem to blame the most, are the reason you're paid the exorbitant money. Do you love to go after the media who broadcast your games to the world and the fans who are the only reason these companies but, can afford to pay but you? Gotta, but, but, why, why take it personally? But, yeah, the, Just take the L. Especially football fans. You think they wanted to be there for another night game disaster? People that live in South Jersey, people that live out on Long Island, where it literally takes them three hours to get home after these games? The experience of watching an NFL game in person isn't nearly as good as sitting home on your couch and watching it on a big jumbo screen in HD. But these people want to be there to see their team play. These tickets have been handed down from father to son, from grandfather to great-grandfather. They've been in these families for years. These people support the team win, lose, or draw. A lot of miserable, awful, ugly seasons and games to get disgraced by the Dallas Cowboys, disgraced by the Philadelphia Eagles, week in and week out, and yet still go and still love this team and still paint their face and buy the jersey to watch this team. You bet they deserve to boo you when you play poorly. And how dare you disrespect those fans that pay your salary? Oh my lord. God, they I hate it when they do that. But then he took it, he went, he took it the next step, the next level. Who are you? It wouldn't be right to do if he was a pro bowler and had seven Super Bowl rings. You think he deserves to do it for a guy that barely deserves to be on the field? God, it's just so insane. I'm tired of these athletes that, that treat these fans like they're some yo-yos that don't matter. We are the only thing that matter because you exist because of us. We're the ones that are paying the money, paying the PSLs, paying for the Sunday ticket, no, and- watching these games so the NFL can get billions of dollars to broadcast the games. Why do you think they get billions of dollars? Because we can't get enough of the sport, and you disrespect us like that? It's um, it's super disappointing to hear that. Listen. Cut him. Cut him. Well, you said that earlier. Cut his fat ass. Boo his ass! Boo him! God, I just... You piece of garbage! These people are... We have two sports radio stations because fans in New York can't get enough of their team. No, no, you tapped into something really important, though, Don. Here's here's the thing that Evan Neal doesn't realize. Uh, when he when he called the, the fans hamburger flippers. Not that there's anything wrong with flipping hamburgers for a living. I love hamburgers, please. You don't realize the sacrifice just to go to the game. I'm sorry. You know how you say we can't relate to you because you're a pro player? Like, we're talking about Dan Orlovsky coming on the show. He knows football in a way we don't. We're not a pro player. I'm telling you this right now. You as a fan who's been good at football your whole life, you don't know the experience of being a fan. Do you have any idea how annoying it is to go to games? Do you have any idea how annoying it is for a hardworking person to go to a night football game? That is literally like a job. At home... Don, you know what you do when 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 Daniel Jones throws the pick six and the game goes 21-3? You turn on Monday Night Raw and call it a day. But when you're at the game, right. you have to stick it out. You hope they could turn it around because guess what? You're seeing the people pour out of the building. You're thinking about the line to get on Route 3. And then you're going, oh, my God, what time am I getting home tonight? What time am I, do I have to drop the kids off at school? What do I have tomorrow? It's a legitimate Man. sacrifice to your week to go to a night game. It just It's amazing to me that the people that are so important get so disrespected. 
Why do you think you make the money that you make? I, if there were no fans or, or media, there's, there's it's called uh, it's called people who are really talented playing football outside by themselves. Um, I'm sorry, went over. No, you got to talk to me about uh, bath fitter done. I believe I don't want to. Well, can you it's cool off in the bath? Don LeGrecker here to tell you about my friends at Bath Fitter. They remodeled my mom's bath.